Hi, I'm Meg Taylor, news editor of the Valley Star. This is a preview of the third edition of the campus newspaper. The first story we'll be talking about today is my story on the nationwide college bribery scheme. Celebrities such as Felicity Huffman and Lori Laughlin were caught bribing school officials with thousands of dollars to get their kids admitted into prestigious universities. A Long Island middle school teacher is suing her school district for $3 million for unlawfully firing her after a private photo of herself was leaked without her consent. Our first guest today Today is our co-editor-in-chief, Gabriel Arizon. His story is on the upcoming ASU election where students will vote yes or no for a subsidized Metro U-Pass. In the Valley Life section is my story on the campus-held vigil to mourn the victims of the Pittsburgh Synagogue Massacre. Hosted by Hillel 818, Rabbi Brian Bornstein promoted a message of light and solidarity amongst the Jewish community. Our first story today is a piece I co-wrote on the measles outbreak. It originated at UCLA and Cal State LA and has continued to spread. Beyonce's clothing line, Ivy Park, is set to release a new collection at noon on February 19th. The queen called upon her daughter to model the winter wear collection, cleverly called Icy Park. I'm Meg Taylor and this is News Waves Now. From global to local, it's time to catch you up on the news from this week. Homeland Security is calling it the biggest migrant surge in 20 years. Single adults and families are being turned away, but children traveling alone are not. This comes as the House passes a brand new immigration bill creating a path to citizenship for dreamers. After one of the saddest years ever, some happiness is returning. Disneyland is set to open April 30th at 15% capacity. Surrounding hotels are also set to open, but as of right now, only Californians will get to experience the magic. It is currently 71 degrees in Malibu and expected to be in the mid-60s tonight. The temperatures for surrounding areas are a little sporadic. Calabasas temperatures tonight are in the high 70s, Agoura Hills and Thousand Oaks will be in the mid to high 60s, and Santa Monica will be in the high 60s, low 70s. Today's fire threat is expected to remain very low over the next few days. Today's surf forecast is not optimal. Winds are picking up throughout the afternoon. However, they are expected to ease coming this evening. Waves are currently reaching between two and three feet and are expected to remain the same tomorrow. You can try to catch some waves before the tide starts to rebound before dark. Let's take a look at our four day forecast. If you're not sure what to wear for Valentine's Day, I got you covered. Whether you plan on having a romantic dinner for two or going out with friends, you need a look worthy of a V-Day pick. My top three favorite trends for the night are satin, polka dots, and leather. You can go as far as a long red satin dress or even just a satin top. Black and red polka dots is always a Valentine's Day staple piece. It's simple, classy, and cute. If you're feeling bold, go leather. Add a leather jacket to dress up your look or full send it and pair the jacket with leather pants or a skirt and own the room. Well, I don't have satin or polka dots, but I have a little bit of leather. How do you think? Uh, I think the, you could rock yeah. a full leather outfit, buddy. Full I think leather. Jenna would love that. Really? <laughs> oh, I, I definitely need to go to H&M before um, there we, we go. go out tonight. Yeah. V-Day fit ready. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, I heard that someone stayed up late last night and has already listened to every single song in Justin Bieber's new album. Meg, is that correct? That may or may not be true. <laughs> Justin Bieber dropped his first new studio album in five years today. The album, entitled Changes, features the catchy tune Yummy, released last month, amongst other solo songs and collaborations. My personal favorite tracks are Intentions and All Around Me. The Changes Tour begins May 14th in Seattle. 